All right, my name is Sunday. In this video, I'll be talking about what you need to do before 28 February so you don't lose your child benefit. So, aims are communicated to those people when they collect a senior unico fee, when they collect that children money, what you need to do after you might have renewed your easy because they say make everybody go renew their easy time on number one thing so there's another thing you also need to do after you have renewed your easy before 28th of february in order for you not to lose your child benefits so that they're not going to cancel around or reduce your asenio unicos feelings payments so in this video we're looking at what exactly you need to do and how to go about it for those people when they already applied for a senior unico fee and for those ones that are seen maybe preparing to apply for it for those that have renewed their easy and those ones whenever they have renewed their easy that are still waiting maybe for appointment in calf to renew their easy now let's get started so this is what they have stated they said him's single check what needs to be done in february 2023 in order not to lose the increase in order for you not to lose the benefits the single allowance for dependent children in 2023 is automatic for those who have already applied that is what hims stated before before they say anybody is just for you to renew your easy it will be automatic now so they talk oh. now so they talk but you have to communicate the new easy you have to communicate the new easy and update your data by integrating the application made to him otherwise the check you receive could be reduced or if the data does not have up cancel so now what they are stating is this first they said that everybody should go and renew those ones when the first apply before when the first they collect them before they should go and renew their easy only their easy that if they renew only their easy automatically the payment will continue they now said but you have to communicate it although now it's token but you have to communicate it because they say now automatically won't be you now they use their water they grow corn so I yami I coca. So you have to be sure you have to know that one. Anybody when they already apply for is your is a dot com at a bag, carry and go calf, wait for go before. Or won't do you know one data city again. Go to that calf, they go enter your practical opener, then they go hard or integrate your new is into your former application. It is better now they use their math talk and say now automatic it won't be, but it will be better for you for you to be on the safer side. Let's say, for instance, last year your easy was 3000 and now your easy is now 6000 So you have to go to CAF to go and integrate it, meaning, hard down, join your application. Even if not be that city you did again, go to any CAF. The most important thing they are able to open your application, they go hard down, join now. For those ones who already renewed their easy, that is what they are stated. They said, if not, or otherwise, the check you receive could be reduced. Meaning, maybe they are supposed to pay 175 euro per child. It might turn to ordinary 50 euro. Or even if the data is not had then, maybe you don't have the data, maybe change of one thing or the other, then it might be cancelled. For those ones, especially those ones, maybe last year now two children you get, and this year you already born one, join the double be four or the double be three. People like those people, they need to do their own specifically. That is it because they have changed data. Many things have changed, or maybe they don't change their IBAN. The IBAN when they first put before, maybe not they work again. They want change on. They don't already change them. So you have to communicate change of data as well. So they said how to update IMS data so as not to lose the single check in 2023. By the end of February, which is 28th of February. Any changes to the information previously provided must be notified to him. If not from March, the payments not go enter. So you have from now to 28th of February. 
Number one, you need to first and foremost renew your easy. After you don't renew your easy, then go back to CAF to go and update it, to go and integrate it. Now, listen to this. For those ones, whether you know born general or what you're already not change your EBA or not, as far as say you renew your easy, although him stocks in automatic in one B, then want a play at boards. Make una not too much believe their word. Carry your easy, go calf. Then they say, make una take, make una hard and join her, integrate and join her. Hard and join her, it will be better. It will be better for you to be sure, for you to be on the safer side. You understand? So that is what everybody needs to go and do. They are the one that said it's going to be automatic. We announced it before, but we are telling you again, for you to be on the safer side, carry your easy, go integrate and put, go hard and join her. Because difference are going to be in your easy, your new easy now. Things are going to change as well. So you have to go. Why those ones went already born join now? Maybe they just change their iban. Those people, you must definitely have to go. So they said by the end of February, any changes to the information previously provided must be notified to us. For example, the birth of new children, like what I've stated. For example, maybe the person born picking join now. The birth of new children, separation, the first day together before. Now, here and that man, not day again. They don't already separate. You also need to communicate it as well. Maybe in your easy. Now, you, your husband, your children. And now, now, just only you and your children, your husband, not day inside again. You also need to go back and communicate it to them as well. The turning of 18 by a child. Maybe you're picking before. Now, 17 years. Now, you don't turn 18. You don't turn 21. You also need to communicate it. Go back to cafe for doing or any other cafe. And also, do what needs to be done. Or even a change of the IBAN, even a change, maybe you want to change your IBAN, your IBAN get forth, you want to change them. the same thing, also need to communicate to them as well. So they said for those people that are hearing for the first time, or maybe now they have the requirement to apply for it, maybe they just nearly put to bed this year. For those people, application on how to go about the application, they said the single grant application is submitted through the following channels if you want to apply for this as senior unico fully for those who are hearing for the first time or for those who have just came in or maybe they have a requirement they have put to bed they have children that they want to apply for they just brought their children from wherever they want to apply for it they said number one online portal by going to im's website you can do it by yourself you go to im's website to make the application on im's website definitely i'm going to require your credentials your speed and other things then number two they say you can also call this contact number this is their ims number you can also call this ims number possibly they also put you through on what to do regarding the application through calls if you call them this ims number two number is there eight zero three one six four that's for the landline then you can also call zero six one six four one six four so that one is for the mobile number. So you can also call that as well. Then lastly, by going to Patronage Institute, using the service offered by them, by going to CAF. So when you go to CAF, they will also help you for the application. That's for those people that want to make application. They also stated that if you make application, you made application last year, and throughout last year, they don't answer them or they don't grant it to them. Those people... For you to be waiting, it is better me go make another application. That is it. This year, try to make another application for you to have access to this benefit. That is what they are stated. Why those people that have met up with the requirement, they have all the necessary requirements, you can go to CAF to make the application. Then lastly, they said, for those who apply by 30th June 2023, the single check will be paid starting from March of this year. Possibly recognizing the areas for the months that have already passed. However, for applications submitted after that date, the payment of the single grant will start from the following months. So, what they are saying is that anybody, maybe you can go make application for March, April, May, June. The application or the payment will still start from March. If you make application even in April, does it pay you March on? If you make application in May, it also pay you much on. But if you can't go make application after June 30th, maybe in July, in August, you're not going to receive from March. You only receive from the months that you made the application in month following. That is what they are stated. So anybody want to make application now, you have from March to June 30th. If you make application in March, April, May, even in June, before 30th of June, the payment of March, April, May, 
and June will still be added or calculated and given to you. But if you now make application after June, maybe July, August, March, April, May, June will not be given to you. The payment will only start from the months you make application. So that is what they are stated. So for those ones that have renewed their easy, they say that it will still be right, appropriate, and good for you to go to CAF to update or integrate your easy update and integrate the new EZ that you just renew. That is what they are stated for you to be on a safer side. Even though you're not born, join even though you're not change even for you to be on a safer side to be better for you. Go update and go integrate and just give one to cash. Say me they had that join now. It will be better. Thank you and God bless you. Bye.